I am Mrs. Esther Rani, Assistant Professor of English, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. Today, I am going to deal with the topic, Introduction to the Communication Skills. In this topic, I am going to deal with the meaning of the communication, definition of the communication, elements of the communication. Here, coming to the objective of communication. See here, the students will be able to describe what is communication and how to establish communication ground with others, identify the ways that communication happens, develop verbal and non-verbal communication. Every topic has its own objectives and outcomes. So here also we can say that every student, every student, he or she is able to describe what is communication. That is our objective and the faculty objective is to establish communication, establish communication ground with others and students will be able to find out the ways that communication happens within themselves and they are able to develop verbal and non-verbal communication. Verbal communication is what we speak. Non-verbal communication is our facial expression, smile and then uh, gestures, nodding of our head, all these which comes under verbal communication. So now, next coming to the outcomes. Outcome is a very important aspect which means achieving intended goals. Outcome is nothing but achieving intended goals. So here in this uh, topic, at the end of the topic, the students will achieve a few outcomes based on LSRW skills, listening outcomes, reading outcomes, speaking outcomes and writing outcomes. First coming to the outcome of listening, outcome of listening improves communication skills intelligibly through listening means the students, they can improve communication skills at the end of the session. And coming to the speaking, it provides an effective communication throughout the academic and professional presentation. Wherever that they go, when they present something, you see, so this outcomes work. Coming to the outcome of reading, in this outcome of reading, you see, students interpret, they can interpret the with the usage of contextual information for presentation and remembrance means when they read, when they speak, when they listen, they try to remember and present themselves. Coming to the last one, that is outcome of writing. It develops skills of writing emails. Means at the end of this session, after learning communication skills, students, they can develop the skills of writing emails. They can write reports effectively. And formal and informal letters also they could write. So outcome based. See, this is uh, outcomes are very essential for engineering colleges. So through them, all the students, they can reach their goals effectively in their future. Now, understanding and understanding objectives and outcomes make the students to learn smoothly. Not only students, even faculty also they can go smooth in their learning process. Coming to the communication, every human being cannot live in the society without communication. Communication is a vital part in the society. So it is the basic need of every individual. It requires an area of communicative commonality. Means we people in this society, we cannot live without talking to others. Everyone needs communication. For this, uh, there is a auditory means such as means everyone they can express through speech. Means they can talk to others and then they can sing a song and then tone of voice is also very important. And non-verbal techniques also very important such as body language means how we sit, the touch, eye contact. 
then gestures how we move our hands nodding of our head all these which comes under a part of communication and even it also goes uh, through a media called pictures graphs even sound when we sing a song sound comes out and writing to convey some information means we can use letters to convey our communication means our thoughts our ideas our facts coming to the definition of communication many people many experts researchers they have defined communication in different ways here communication is an exchange of facts ideas opinions and emotions by two or more persons so when two or more persons sit together when they start communication they express some their ideas means they exchange their ideas they pass their opinions they express their emotions in the process of communication this definition w h newman he has expressed very aptly and coming to the origin of the word communication every word of english has its own origin many words they might have originated from french latin and greek so here the word communication is originated from a latin noun communis and a latin verb communicare which means to transmit or to impart transmit means sending from one person to other person impart means sending from other one person to other person so this is the origin of the word communication then precision in communication what is the word precision precision is nothing but clarity precise so for the clarity in communication we need vocabulary so here is a question what is vocabulary vocabulary is nothing but a group of words put together in a language a group of words we use in a language whatever might be the language whether it's english or a french or a latin or telugu or any other language vocabulary is very very important some people they are very rich in vocabulary and some people they are very poor in vocabulary but vocabulary is the main foundation for the communication so how can we enrich our vocabulary here in this slide i have given a picture so in this picture it's very clear two steps i have given here to see one is writing the word writing the word and using the word immediately so here how to enrich our vocabulary or how to enhance our vocabulary so in the process of enhancing our vocabulary first we need to write a new words first select new words and in a easy way i could tell you one thing you see every day every day select a four to five or at least to three to four vocabulary and then hone them learn them learn them and then use them in your daily life this is very very important so here to say vocabulary plays as i told you it plays vital role in communication process so when you start using new vocabulary automatically you can develop your communication skills so this is a very simple trick that we have to enrich our vocabulary to see like our communication it's nothing but a two way process where the message is in the form of ideas thoughts as we discussed earlier and the transmission of opinions between two persons or more with an intended creating the shared understanding means through this communication we can share our ideas we can share our thoughts sitting together this is nothing but communication process nothing like it's very easy just uh, look at the slide very clear uh, slide it is a picture where we have two persons they are exchanging their <coughs> ideas or they are passing something like a message we can say that here in this communication process we have sender who sends the message to other person you can see a, a female uh, picture in this 
I think uh, she is sending a message to the other person uh, through a medium or you can say channel. And then the receiver at the other end means might be that person, a male person, he receives, he noted, he'll note all the uh, content, complete content and he encodes, he encodes and decodes and then understands very well and he just uh, sent the feedback to the sender. So this is the process of communication, nothing but very easy it is. And then here communication process once again, I just uh, recollect to see like it's a process, uh, nothing but what we take in order to communicate successfully. The components uh, in this communication process are very important sender encoding the message, selecting the channel of communication, receipt of message by the receiver and decoding of the message. So a very simple process, this communication process is. So, sender is very important. What he encodes, what the message that he is sending is very important. And then to send the message, he has to select the channel and then the recipient will receive the message. And then after that, he understands the message and sends the feedback. Then only the sender will come to know what is right or what is wrong. If at all any mistakes are there in his communication process, through this feedback, he'll uh, rectify. In this picture, the slide that shows very clearly complete communication process. The sender, encoding, channel, decoding, recipient, feedback, again, he sends back. So, sender, encodes the message, sends a message in, in an encoding manner, accepting the channel, whatever it might be, decodes that, recipients he accepts and decodes and again he understands the message and sends in the form of a feedback. Very clear picture it is now. Now, based on this, we have a few elements of communication, what we discussed already, but once again, you see the basic elements of communication skills. Effective communication is a sender, receiver, message, medium and feedback. See the picture. A person who is standing before the podium, having a mic in front of him. He has used uh, that as a channel. And a few people, those who are sitting in front of him as receivers. So, might be or many types of people, those who receive properly or those who reject or uh, those who uh, find faults in the speech of the person who is standing ne near the podium. So in this way, so the picture, it is very clear, the speaker who sends the message accepted or cho chose a channel of uh, the mic and then he sends the message and receivers, those who are sitting, those who are sitting before him, they uh, receive the message try to understand the message what he is conveying and then sending feedback in the form of might be comments or questions or while sending feedback they can use non-verbal cues also. What are non-verbal cues? They are nothing but facial expressions and then you can say that nodding of head and passing a, like a statements asking questions. So, agreeing with the person who is speaking there, whatever it is, everything comes under feedback only. Now, let us see all these elements of communication in detail. So, what is the first element of communication? It is nothing but sender. Sender has its own specific role in the process of communication. He is a very important person. Without sender, the receiver will not get any communication, any message. So, to that's why this sender, to while in the form of com uh, while communicating a message, he must be very cautious. He must communicate effectively using verbal and non-verbal techniques, speaking and writing clearly, organizing his thoughts, points and organizing all the points systematically one after the other and then maintaining proper body language 
and then maintaining eye contact also and without deviating from the grammar so using proper grammar and giving accurate information with all the essentials in an effective manner through message this is the responsibility of sender so sender has to like uh, look after all these things first thing is organizing his speech means writing all the points you know in an organized manner and checking his message like uh, grammatical mistakes and all and uh, he has to check his uh, body language also what is it maintaining eye contact and then using gestures proper gestures all these are essential for effective message communication so if you can't do if he if the sender can't organize all these things well definitely he is going to lose his audience because audience are very much aware of all the things what he is uh, performing in front of everyone so uh, it is obvious oversights on his part so this is the part of sender in the elements of communication second element of communication is receiver receiver means the party to whom the sender transmits his message who is going to receive the message in short the receiver can be a person or more maybe one person or more than one person with different mindset the receiver can also communicate back to the sender verbally and non verbally for example uh, if you imagine a class in front of us with a different mindsets they are the receivers and we are the senders means the faculty who is standing in front of them they are the senders so receivers they have to receive in a proper way when they will receive proper, properly when the sender sends the message in an organized manner so sender must be very careful and at the same time receiver also plays vital role in the process of communication he receive he has to receive the message very carefully means in this process listening is very important he has to listen carefully first when he listens he can send it back in the form of a feedback so in this process this receiver he uh, shouldn't get distracted and try to do something else uh, means he shouldn't uh, try to deviate himself from the listening and he has to sit erect concentrate on the uh, message what he is sending so nodding and smiling as he listens demonstrates that he is understanding the message it's very very simple the receiver when he nods his head when he smiles at the speaker that is nothing but he is understanding the message next third element of communication skills is like a message very important without message uh, there is no part for sender and the receiver also so message is nothing but a thought an idea an emotion or anything that the sender wants to convey in the form of message it is the content that the sender wants to convey to uh, receivers as i said receivers might be one or many and even the message also it could be verbal and non verbal what is meant by verbal non verbal in the in this message verbal means what we speak what we send the message what we send to the receiver and non verbal means like uh, even nodding of the head also speaks sometimes when we use our hand like in a form of a gestures that also speaks our eyes speaks so these all which comes under non verbal non verbal message and the next one is channel channel is also very important in the process of communication the person who is interested in communicating has has to choose the channel for sending the required information ideas emotions everything whether it's a formal or informal the channel sits in between the sender and the receiver very important channel it is right whether it's a, a mic or whether it's a letter 
or whether it's a radio or it is a television or whether it's a internet so anything that can sit in between the sender and the receiver when we start listening to the radio the message which comes from the radio that speaks and the television when we see the person who is speaking from the television and we are the listeners that also acts as a channel internet we browse so many things from the internet so from that see internet also sits as a channel in between a receiver and the sender and something which we write also that is a uh, paper in olden days we used to write letters letters also acts as a channel a book which we read with uh, great speeches means uh, innovative speeches by others uh, like mother teresa sundar pichai so these people like uh, uh, they give uh, like a uh, great speeches through them we just try to change our lives also even magazines also uh, plays vital role as a channel and then coming to the feedback the last element of communication is feedback feedback describes the receiver's response or reaction so when we give feedback when we give feedback that speaks a lot about the sender not about the receiver feedback speak speaks about the sender it transmitted through asking questions making comments or just supporting the message that was delivered here you see uh, in previous uh, uh, picture or a slide we have seen very clearly two people they are sitting at one place and they started speaking to each other so here you see a few people like uh, 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 while after receiving the message you see these people they can raise their hand and ask question means when they are in a position to ask question means they understood the message now they are trying to give feedback to the sender even sender also when he gets feedback so uh, if any mistakes are there in his uh, message he could rectify those mistakes so that is possible only through this feedback so in this way so these all uh, elements of communication or uh, they acts they they have their own uh, vital role in the process of communication very important aspects all these without these communication is very difficult let us summarize this see sender he has his own uh, value in the process of communication and then message without message see there is no use of uh, the sender and the receiver when there is no receiver sending message is in vain and if we, if we don't have proper channel to send the message the receiver cannot receive message properly and if the receiver can't give feedback properly the sender cannot rectify himself and never he could know his performance so all these uh, five elements are very very important in the process of communication so here as a part of classroom activity i would like to suggest uh, a few things to my students uh, like how to uh, uh, enrich their vocabulary so vocabulary as we said to see vocabulary is very important uh, and uh, knowing uh, new words like uh, verifying the uh, like meaning of new words is very important and using those words in our daily uh, activities is also very important as already i said to see i my sincere suggestion to all my students is only one thing that is every day every day learn at least two to four or two to three new words after reading those two to three new words try to like uh, um, find out their meaning once if you know the meaning of those words you feel like using them in your daily act very important that is so it's not uh, enough if you use only once in your daily activity n number of times you have to use those new vocabulary in your daily life so that you can remember them properly so here see i have a few suggestions to enhance your vocabulary first thing is every one you are blessed with the dictionaries in your phones and even thesaurus also we have in our phones and even uh, books also we have dictionaries thesaurus and you can go through them 
find out every day one or two words you just uh, take from them and then uh, learn meanings and use them not only that uh, newspapers through newspaper also we can enrich our vocabulary usually news newspaper means we people we just go through the uh, sports column and the movie column that's it so it's not enough for the students so read newspaper thoroughly while reading the newspaper when you get a new word take your pen and just underline underline those uh, new words and find out meanings at least four words per day listen to the speeches of politicians achievers just now i just uh, told about sundar pichai and mother teresa like etc people those who can mold the characters of the people through their speech we call them achievers imitate means it's not only it's not that listening and keeping it away so imitate the intonation while they are speaking while you are listening try to imitate the intonation what they have and speak speak and speak and speak listen carefully learn and listen so just let us summarize the topic as today we have done with the communication process we have learned uh, meaning of the communication and then origin of the communication we have learned communication process that we have learned and then elements of the communication which are very important that we have learned and then we have uh, uh, i have suggested a few things uh, uh, to learn or to enhance communication also that we have learned let us uh, Uh, stop here thank you very much for being with me and let us meet in the next session thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates